welcome to Get Vision TV and in association with Island TV. And we are here at the Reggae Girls Foundation fundraiser, actually, where they're raising funds to go to World Cup in France because they qualified, you all. Yes, they qualified. And so we're here at the Miramar Complex. And, um, you know, we have right now playing the Asian celebrities against the Jamaican celebrities as the warm-up opening match. And next, we're going to have none other than our own reggae girls playing another team. And we are rooting, of course, you know, I'm rooting for Jamaica. Come here, Jamaica, and the Jamaican thing, right? And turn up. But I just want you to stay tuned as we bring you some highlights of the game and some interviews on today. God bless you. You don't know. It's your girl, Evangelist Michelle, checking out. If you can't have it, you can't realize it. One love. Well, welcome back to Get Vision TV in association with Island TV. And we are here with the president for the Reggae Girls Foundation, none other than Michelle. And let me tell you something. I can't call the last name, you know. When we hear she say a thing, the other day at the lunch, and I'm just right up there with her. Would you say a woman time? No. All right. So listen. That's Michelle, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Today is a good day. The reggae girls are going to play today. Everybody is out in the numbers. If you're there warm and you're there for your coach, Put on your shoes, put, come in your car, and come down to the Anson Sports Complex and support the girls there. Well, let me tell you something now. If you did not donate, you have to give something to these girls because you're trying to raise $50,000. Yeah, that's correct. We're trying to raise $50,000. So if you're not able to make it today, go to www.reggaegirlswithazfoundation.com and donate. We will take any donations. If you see four quarters in your coach, just put it on the card and send it to the girls. The girls, them need your support. So, Mish, um, you know, I'm excited about what you're doing. I'm excited oh, about you. you being a part of this. How did you get involved? Because I heard you say you're an athlete and all of that, and you gave up everything for you to do this for the girls. Well, I'll tell you, my daughter actually played with the um, U.S. national teams from U14 um, through U18, and um, she made the decision to switch to Jamaica, which is true to our mother's heart. She <laughs> actually was named yesterday as part of the team. So yeah, I recognize right. her being a part of the U.S. footprint. I recognize that they have more resources, but them don't have the talent that we have. So if we can get behind the girls and really start to support them, we have talented girls. You know, Jamaicans, we're little, but we're talawa. So if we can get the financial support behind them, then them can't stop away. So me decides to know, no, me had a vision, but I believe a vision without resources is a hallucination. Uh, right. That's it. That's so Jamaicans don't hallucinate. So me think I say, if every Jamaican get a dollar, all across the globe. Our deal, the girls them set. So I just figured some just throw my, my energy behind the whole thing and come through. Well, you have really come through and we know that dollar will go a far away, but when I want a dollar. <laughs> Well, welcome I'll back to Get Vision TV in association with Island TV and we're here at the Reggae Girls Foundation fundraiser at Miramar Sporting Complex. And we have the man beside me, the man on the move, the man that's our own concert general, Oliver Mayer, who is brainchild behind all of this. Tell us a little bit about how this started, how you got involved, and why you decided to get involved. Well, you know, um, first of all, I want to thank you. Thank you for the work that you're doing here in the community Steve on Higgins. an ongoing basis. Steve Higgins, you're needed by the DJ right now. As you hear, it's live. You know, everything is happening live. Listen, um, you know, in January, I visited Jamaica. Um, connected with Ali Matnab, you know, he asked me some of the things we wanted to work on. I said, look, we want to focus on the youth, getting the youth involved. And we felt that sports and culture was very important. And we started talking about what Busy, Busy Campbell is doing here in Jamaica, the One Love program. I wanted to bring it up here in Florida. And so we discussed that we had a meeting the same day. And we also discussed getting, having the reggae girls play their final match um, right here in Florida before they head off. So uh, myself, Ali Matnab, Busy Campbell and Andrew Price was also in that first sort of brainstorm session right. for this. So we, we're happy how it is turning out, but it's not just about four people. There have been a lot of people that have, it, have been involved. The community has come forward in a big to carry an idea. It's one thing to have an idea, but the execution is another thing, you know. And I, first of all, I want to thank God Almighty because he know he's with the evangelist without <laughs> listen without god without yes. god blessing and sanctioning this, this event yes. it wouldn't happen you know and so how the whole thing came together you know i it just by accident accident i booked up in alley and um, divine intervention divine intervention that's why i do it in quotation <laughs> you know 
Well, I, I was at a luncheon and I've been, you know, just, just, I was just there and I was just in the moment just to see everybody just coming together. You brought other sports personnel, you know, and personalities, you know, from where, but Sanya from Texas, you know, just brought them together to encourage the girls because, you know, even though they see them out there playing, they need us to encourage them. They need us to stand with them. And I see even, you know, I just interviewed Michelle and she's excited. She's pumped up. And we just want to ask you, as Michelle and I did, and I'm going to continue to do this right throughout our interviews because it is important that you go to reggaegirlsfoundation.com and make a donation. Yes. I know your goal was $50,000. How do you feel about your goal? Well, you know, our goal is ongoing, right? People have an opportunity today, even listening right here now, live broadcast, to contribute um, the reggaegirlsfoundation.com and the girls, this is not a one shot. It's, it's about the spirit of giving, the spirit of supporting. The girls did it on their own with very limited resources and here I want to say big up to Sidella Mali. Yes. I want to say big up to our own minister Babsy Grange for their commitment to women's football. Um, Laverne Deer is another lady, Elaine Walker, the coaches, certainly the JFF president and, and the entire team, Sophia Harris, etc. They have all come together to work to make this dream a reality. You know, a lot of, not a lot of people backed um, women's football and certainly when I saw that we qualified a World Cup for World in Cup in France this year. From, and, this is no joke. I saw a post from Andrew Price. I said, women were even playing football to go I World know. Cup. Soccer. We, you know, we call it football. Some of our viewers might not even, might think it's soccer, football, whichever one you want to call it. Yeah, and I, so I was so excited to know that the women on their own with very little support have done this. So I'm saying, look, whether you come on from a start, are you coming on no joining on the wagon? Are you a wagonist? Yeah, <laughs> As you call him. It don't matter. As yes. Andrew Price said to me, look, all wagonists are welcome, right? And we just need to continue to pour in the support. It's a good look for Jamaica. If you look at the women that play, the girls that play for the regular girls, right? The cross section, it's, it's out of many one people. That's and it. They, I said they, it's on, on they're they're yes. pulling together. And they're There's so a, humble and obedient and, you know, I'm really excited. They're very excited, you know, and it's a good look for Jamaica. And, and many of the girls are coming from out here in, in Florida which is also saying something to us as a nation, the diaspora, the, the, the power of the diaspora to pull and unify. What we're doing right here in Florida, unifying our bodiless Jamaica from right here, you know? So we give thanks. Thank you for the work you're doing. I love the glasses. Let me take a little one peep again from the glasses. If you're still at your house, make your way out now and come to the game. Still time, it's just, it's, Jamaica is actually leading. Well, uh, one love, right? One no, love. Jamaica is leading 2-1. Oh, it's 2-1, right? okay. 2-1, no. And come on and enjoy the fun, man. People are excited. Lots of vibes, lots of energy. You know, this is a historic moment. Hello, man. Hey, welcome back black. to Get Vision TV in association with Island TV. And we're here at the Reggae Girls Foundation fundraiser and we have with us one of the main 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 persons behind all this fundraising and none other than the own icon legend the man himself none other than Ali Manab legendary sportscaster out of Jamaica this is such an honor for him to be on Get Vision TV and Island TV how are you doing sir I am doing very well and thank you for such um, accolades <laughs> You know, when, when you have icons and, and, and legends in your midst, you have to acknowledge them. So tell us a little bit about, you know, how you got involved with the Reggae Girls and what's your role? Actually, um, I wear many hats. I'm actually a special advisor to the Minister of Sport, um, Olivia Babsy Grange. And um, so she also has gender under her, her portfolio. <laughs> okay. But who actually got involved? Um, my office is in New Kingston Shopping Center and I stretching my legs one afternoon and when I looked I saw the Council General Olivia Mayor downstairs and I called him up and we were having lunch in my office and conversation led to the fact that he was now new in Florida and he wanted to come up with ideas as to what could bring Jamaicans together and we spoke about the reggae girls and um, we called up um, Busy Campbell who is famous for putting together the One Love Peace concert which brings masters and entertainers together. Masters, old people like myself who used to play. <laughs> don't even go there, don't even go there and but then, they look like 25. And then we have a, a, a Chris Martin, uh, Agent Sasko. These people play actually good football. Right. So we have been doing this all over the world. 
And then um, in addition to that now, um, uh, we brought in um, Andrew Price, an assistant coach to, um, to the, 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 the reggae girls. And a little conversation turned into what we have here. Yes. Because we brought in the, um, the, the, the Reggae Girls Foundation. I made a call to, um, to Sadella Mali, right. who... Um, is your ambassador? Yes, as a Reggae right. Girls ambassador. Mm -hmm. What it is is that many people may not know. Alan Cole and I are the best of friends. Um, my first son is called Alan. His first son is called Ali. Ali. Oh, well, well, that's cool. <laughs> so um, I knew Alan from when, and he was the manager of Bob Marley. So right. we all became good friends. We used to play football at Hope Road with Bob in the mornings. So Sedella, Stephen, and Ziggy grew up under my arm, right, so to right. speak. So that's the connection there. Right. So all the synergies came together. Right. And as I said, um, with the Reggae Girls Foundation and the, the, the Office of the Council General, the support of everyone here in Florida, look at the turnout that we have. It's right. just wonderful. Well, we're excited about what you are all doing and raising the funds. And as I said earlier, even although you might not be able to be here with us in the flesh, you can also take part in what we're doing by going to reggaegirlsfoundation.com. Girls with a Z, Z, whatever, wherever you are, whichever one you call it, but it's girls with a Z or a Z. Foundation.com and make your donation because we're trying to raise fifty thousand dollars US to get them to France and um, we're excited about their qualification and we just want to wish them all the best. Any final words before we close out? Well, I'd be remiss. I think many of you know um, Lorna Bell, the wife of J the late Jackie Bell. Right. Well, she's the executive director of um, Special Olympics, people with intellectual disability. Right. I chair that association. Oh, you do? Cool. And uh, we just took a 93-member team to Abu Dhabi about uh, a month ago, mm. where we won 33 medals. Oh, you heard that. Special Olympics. We, yeah. You know, you know Jamaicans. <laughs> we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're Jamaicans. We, we, we improved on the 29 that right. we did three years ago in Los Angeles. But I think the real story is that um, they say a nation is judged by the way they teach their, uh, um, treat their underprivileged and disadvantaged. Um, uh, people with intellectual disability needs to be included. There is the slogan of um, awareness, acceptance and inclusion. So I just want to say to your audience that um, be a part of that and be sympathetic to that. And if you can get involved, please do so. It's a wonderful experience. Well, you heard it today from none other than our own legendary, iconic, I call him. And you know, we always watch him on the TV and say, him cutie, and now we have him in the flesh on Get Vision TV and Island TV. That's why you can't give up on life because you, know, you never know who God is going to put in your path. But we just thank God for you and your vision and, and the fact that, you know, you are not just sitting around. You are making things happen for a beautiful country of Jamaica in the sports arena. We're, we're excited about that because we know so we are the only... Jamaicans, we could have taken it to Bob Bobsled. So you know, said there is no limits on us as Jamaicans, one nation, and as our motto said, out of many one people. So we just want to say thank you, sir, for all that you're doing, and all the persons that are watching that can make a donation, can do something, make a donation, do something to help these girls. God if bless you. If I Hold may on. just say one thing, um, as many people should know and ought to know, I work very closely with the Honorable Olivia Babsy Grange. Gender is part of her portfolio and um, she has a thing that is saying and you'd love it she says woman time no no man no man michelle done ball that out and tell them already say a woman time no and you hear him i say it so you know and my girls man too you know, but we're not gonna go there today so but god bless you you don't know the thing said get vision tv in association with island tv if you can't get it you can't realize it evangelist michelle checking out one love